<laughs> Some say he's kidding. The president said he's serious. Others say he's just trolling the Democrats. But if he's serious, I think it's a great idea. And if he's not serious, I think it's a great idea. And if he's trolling the Democrats, I think it's an incredible idea. Hi, it's Pastor Marty from the Afternoon Drive. And the president is said to be mulling over a concept of maybe if we've got to let these illegal detainees in, because that is actually the law. Catch and release is the warp law, which is the illegitimate birth child of Democrats and Republicans working together in a bipartisan way. This is the kind of stuff you and I get stuck dealing with when Democrats and Republicans get along on an issue. Because again, remember, they're really just different sides of the same coin. Don't ever forget that. The swamp is the swamp is the swamp. And the elite oligarch ruling class, who see themselves as so much smarter than the rest of us, and only they know what we truly need, this is the kind of stuff they come up with. Well, when the illegals get to the border, let's see, what shall we do? Well, we will get their names and some information, and then we will release them. You know, catch and release. Well... Catch and release in the fishing world means you catch it, and then you release it back to where it came from. But in the political immigrant world, we catch them and then we release them into our country. That's the law. So the president is saying, well, since sanctuary states like California and guys like Governor Newsom claim to love all of these illegals, and Nancy Botox Pelosi said it is an act of love to welcome them here, as has Jeb Bush, well, let's release them then. Only, only to sanctuary cities like San Francisco, New York, Patterson, New Jersey. By the way, you release a bunch of these people into Patterson, New Jersey, they will be screaming to go back to their third world countries. That, I promise you. Now, that said, Nancy Pelosi, the Washington Post, and the Democrats are all up in arms. How can he do this? This is, this is horrible. This is dangerous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind the tape. Dangerous? Why? Nancy. You were the one trying to say that the president made up the gang, MS-13, that there really is no such thing, that these people all come here because they want a better life. They just want to pick fruit and take care of their family. That's why they're here. Oh, so some of them are dangerous. When Barack Obama, because it was under his administration, were separating families at the border because... They didn't know, are these children really with these adults? Or are the adults using the children as cover? Are these really drug traffickers coming in, hiding behind children? Are these traffickers bringing children in to be sold into slavery or sexual perversion? See, when Barack Obama did it, it was the right thing to do, according to CNN last night. But when Donald Trump does it, obviously, it's because he's vile. Need a little refresher there, just so that I can really get this rant rolling. But it's not just a sounding off over nothing. We were told when the president had the government closed because he didn't get his funding for the wall, that the crisis at the border was a manufactured crisis. wasn't actually happening. Now, all of a sudden, the media is reporting it as the, the, the most horrific thing to ever happen to this country. And it is! Now all of a sudden you get it? Now all of a sudden you understand it? I have other videos on this subject. You know exactly why they're doing this. And Nancy Pelosi, who lives in her beautifully gated community, is a multi-millionaire, despite the fact all she's ever done is sit on her bahonkas there in Congress. 
What? Where, where's her foreign money come from? Is, is she an arm of the cartel? I don't know. I've heard stories. Now all of a sudden, this is a problem. I said, hey, bring all these illegals over to the gated communities of the Democrats and the liberals and the ones that say we don't need a wall. Bring those illegals to their communities. By the way, what normally happens is they just sort of get dispersed throughout the country. Why? Why, if they're just here to pick fruit, you know, all these jobs that supposedly white people won't do, American citizens won't do along the border in these border states, why are we shipping them off to the Dakotas, the Carolinas, and all kinds of other places? What, 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 why are we doing that? Because we're trying to spread out all the illegal votes that the Democrats need to rig and pull off elections. And then there's even more nefarious things. Under the Barack Obama administration, planes from foreign countries would land, would stay out on the runway. They would not taxi into the terminal. Government buses would roll out to those planes. They were never brought through customs. They were never seen by border agents. They were put on the buses and off they would go. Well, how do you think the state of Michigan became like the fifth largest Islamic country in the world? Do you really think some guy named Ahmed was sitting out there in the desert one day eating his camel meat and thought, you know, I want to go to Dearborn, Michigan. That is my life dream. To go from a dry desert climate to a frigid, rigid, cold winter climate. That That's your dream. You couldn't wait to do that. It was by plan and by design that Barack Obama spread Muslims across our country focused a lot of those places in the Midwest. So, President Trump saying, let's put all the illegals that are crashing our border in sanctuary cities. They love these people. Let them take care of them. I think it is a brilliant idea. I think it is a great idea. I vote thumbs up. What say you? I want to see your comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. Please hit the bell so you get notifications of my next rant. And please, post and share these videos. Let's get the word out that not only this channel is here, but let's really cause the liberals to go bat crap crazy. Another one! Another one in conservative media! Let them know. Have a great weekend. We'll do this again tomorrow.